Sarcomas are rare types of cancer that develop in the supporting tissues of the body, such as bone, muscle or cartilage. There are two main types of sarcoma, soft tissue sarcomas and bone sarcomas. Soft tissue sarcomas can develop in muscle, fat, blood vessels or in any of the other tissues that support, surround and protect the organs of the body. More than half of all soft tissue sarcomas diagnosed in childhood are rhabdomyosarcoma. There are several forms of soft tissue sarcoma and these include fibrosarcoma and Kaposi sarcoma. The most common type of soft tissue sarcoma is rhabdomyosarcoma, which commonly presents in the head, the neck, bladder, testes, uterus or vagina and cells look like developing muscle or fibrous tissue. Symptoms of soft tissue sarcomas depend on the part of the body affected. The most common sign is a swelling or lump. If the tumour is in the head area, it can sometimes cause a blockage and a discharge from the nose. Occasionally, an eye may appear swollen and protruding. If the tumour is in the abdomen, the child may have discomfort in the abdomen and difficulty going to the toilet. If the tumour is in the bladder, the child may also have blood in the urine. A variety of tests and investigations may be carried out to diagnose a soft tissue sarcoma. First, blood and bone marrow tests will be taken. A biopsy is usually taken so the tumour cells can be examined under the microscope. Imaging techniques, including X-ray and ultrasound, CT or MRI scans, will be used to determine the exact size and location of the tumour and whether it has spread to other parts of the body. Following these, the cancer can be staged and staging will help the doctors decide on the treatment. Before treatment commences, doctors will stage the tumour. This is based on the site of the original tumour, its size, whether lymph nodes are involved, whether spread has occurred and the histology. This then guides decisions about treatment. A combination of chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery is likely to be used. Sometimes it will not be possible to remove the tumour by surgery either because it's too large, inaccessible or because it has spread to other parts of the body. In these cases, treatment is likely to involve a combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. High dose chemotherapy may be required predominantly in patients with relapsed disease, necessitating stem cell rescue to restore damaged bone marrow. The benefit of chemotherapy is firmly established for rhabdomyosarcoma, but not for other types of soft tissue sarcoma. Surgery is considered the mainstay of treatment for children with these tumors. Treatment of rhabdomyosarcoma often causes side effects, and these will be discussed before treatment starts. The possible side effects depend on the treatment given and the part of the body being treated, but may include nausea and vomiting, hair loss, reduced resistance to infection, bruising and bleeding, tiredness, and diarrhea. These problems are all temporary and can be minimized with good supportive care. A number of children may develop persistent side effects as a result of treatment, sometimes many years later. These are known as late effects. These can include a reduction in normal bone growth, a reduced fertility, a change in heart function, a small increase in the risk of developing a second cancer later in life. The overall survival rate for other types of soft tissue sarcoma is similar to rhabdomyosarcoma, but the age pattern is different, with diagnosis during infancy being associated with a lower survival rate. Other important prognostic factors are the site, size, type of rhabdomyosarcoma, whether it has spread, associated genetic changes, whether complete removal is possible, and the general health 
of the child.